uh, I consider the, my comments about the fraud and lie to be objective truth. You can research it on the internet. The fact is the entire case was based on a lie. Uh, secondly, um, one other thing I'd just like to say, and especially to the ladies in the room, okay? Ladies, the, su the Supreme Court made this ruling. They're not infallible. If we remember right, the Supreme Court made a 7-2 ruling on slavery with Dred Scott. In fact, he was, he was uh, uh, part of Minnesota here. And they said that uh, black people were not fully human. They were wrong then. They were wrong in 1973. Let me just remind you, especially ladies, it was seven men that made abortion legal, not se seven women. Now, what's the significance of that? Men, a certain percentage, have developed a perverted view of women, and what abortion tells men is they can use, use women and lose them, okay? Use them and lose them and run from their responsibility. And then on top of that, we have the state showing up and paying for the sexual exploitation of women. Ladies, let's put a stop to this. Let's put a stop to sending a message Mr. to Speaker? men that they can use Mr. you Speaker? and leave you with the consequences and have the government pick up the, con the Mr. tab Speaker? for that. I'm sorry. One minute, please, Representative Grunhagen. The member from Dakota, Representative Wardlow, for what purpose do you rise? Uh, I think it's a point of order, but I'm just having trouble hearing Representative, Representative Grunhagen. Thank you, Representative Wardlow. Members, if you could please take your conversations to the alcove, or better yet, if there's any cheese left, the retiring room would be even better so that the members are able to hear the debate on the House floor. Member from Sibley, Representative Grunhagen, you still have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, members. Uh, I, since people had difficulty uh, hearing, I could repeat myself, but I won't, okay? <laughs> Second thing is, it, uh, the other thing I'd just like to say, if we look at taxpayer-funded abortion, it unfairly discriminates against minorities, okay? Human Life Alliance, right here in Minnesota, puts out excellent statistics about that. It's the minority women that suffer the most consequences from the taxpayer funded of, of abortion and also suffer the consequences of, of the sexual, sexual exploitation of women in our society. Again, I plead with you, especially ladies, help men support legislation that, that teaches men to accept their responsibility when conceiving with a woman. Don't support legislation and government programs that tell men they can, they can uh, impregnate women and run away from their responsibilities. Please, ladies, think about what's been done to you in the last 40 to 50 years. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member from Dakota, Representative